M0FXB UVK5. Take a look here, I've got a black screen there. Okay, it's not perfectly black, but it's reverse. So how do we do this? Have you heard of this program in the background called UV Mod? So I'll put the link in the description, you go straight to it, and you can design your own firmware here. So if we just minimize me a minute. So anyway, um, here we are. And we're going to select here, patch for radar. We're going to go to UVK5 K6. Then we're going to go down this list here. And there's lots of items you can change. It even says you can add a spectrum analyzer. Uh, going down, battery icon, custom boot if you want. Let's just try it for fun. And if you do too many, it won't work. It's too much for the memory. Uh, but the one we did do is negative display okay i've tried the eight times backlight although i have been selecting now for some reason the backlight doesn't stay on someone tell me if i'm doing anything wrong so we've selected a few there you've got NOAA weather channels you can select your, your broadcast radio range if you want um yeah why not do 64 to 108 air copy frequencies when you put radio side by side and then you they, they copy the whole contents of the memory from one radio to another, which I think is very cool. Then once you've once you've designed that firmware, click the word patch here, and then go save. Okay, and it, it creates a, a BIM file. Now I have tried to do it from using this, um, using the actual U UV mod. But I found that um, it just, just doesn't want to do it. So what I've been doing is going up here. Let's download update software just at the top right here. Uh, and then it gives you a program. And within that program where it says UVK5, you've got here where it says anonymous PS updater. That is the, the firmware loader. You get the original firmware here as well, which I think is very handy for other people. So just remember, you can come to this link for that as well. So when you open the, it's a, it's a funny name, but that firmware loader, it looks like this. Of course, your radio needs to be into firmware mode to turn it off. Hold down the PTT and turn on. If it doesn't do that when the cable's plugged in, unplug the cable, do it again, and then plug the cable back in. But we are in firmware mode now, of course, connected to the PC as well. So now we've got Cox, so put your com number in which is three make sure you click connect here then let's download see these dots here click these and go to the one the bin that we just made which is there look, it, it went straight to our downloads folder and you're down if you look in your on on if, especially if you're using chrome there's a down here and all your downloads are there so we select that and then once that's in we click update and it updates in the normal way and remember if this goes wrong a hundred times, you're not going to brick your radio. You can always reflash these chips. People that say, oh, I bricked it, it won't work. No, no, it will work. And one way of doing it is to go to IJV Mod as well. They've got like uh, some flashing software there called K5 Programmer. And that'll sort any, I've noticed that that'll sort any radio out. So look, if you look there as it booted up, it did have that funny face, um, which we did choose. Go off. Then on. Now let me just unplug the cable a minute off. And then on, there's the funny face. Black screen. Now look at the timeout, you know, the backlight. Ah, it's worked that time. What I've been getting is been lasting five seconds and going off, but at that time it completely worked. So definitely try it out. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's very, I just think it's, it's, it's a nice way of just getting your normal firmware and just playing with it. So if you press, because I selected in my selections the spectrum scope, if I press the bottom button, it turns on the spectrum scope. Was it the bottom or the top? There it is there. And I don't know, and you can even add a ping pong game. Let me just uh, see if I can get this bigger. We're not going to play ping pong. <laughs> so there it is there doing its spectrum thing. Very actually similar, the scope. Very similar to the new, um, you know, the radios that everyone's buying. And what they called again, Quashang TK11 radios. 
Look at this. On this one, we get the monkey. You see it? Oh, you probably won't see it because it's so bright. But you get a monkey on boot up. Let me see if I can put it here. Um, put it like so. And I'll try and get it next to the, not the clearest image, but look, if I turn it off. And this one, what they basically added is a chip. Now let's push the, the scope there. They basically added a ch an extra chip that you can buy for about four pounds. Um, so it will receive HF down, you know, down lower, down lower. And then I don't know how they, the tech is, but they, you know, the SSB it sounds better. Yeah. But remember that your Quashang will actually do a sort of, um, I don't know, a modified version so you can hear SSB from 18 megahertz upwards. So that might, that covers a few handbands that you might like and, um, give it a go. And AM is better. I would say the AM is better on the new one, you know, the, and that the price has come right down on them as well. Those TK 11s, finally, <laughs> they were selling for silly prices and I've actually bought one that was sort of silly price, but oh well. But thanks for watching my channel. Definitely check out UV Mod, 100%. Um, there's a lot more to this software. Uh, and uh, they do a great job. And also, like I said, it's great access just to finding the original software. But I remember clicking up here to download the original software and within that. So it's a really good link just for that. Double click. And what have we got here? We've got uh, the, the um, USB driver. We've got firmware upgrade video. I wonder whose video they've used. Let's have a look. Is that of interest? Because um, I haven't even looked at that. Uh, okay, not now. Oh, uh, is a proper from China. Um, but that is a video. And then you've got the the the, the late. What they say is the latest two point oh one two six bin. And then you've got. Been, so one is instructions. There's the instructions there. Okay, so you've got full instructions, but it's one of the easiest radios to, you know, you literally turn it off, press the PTT, turn it on, connect the cable, select your COM port, select your file, burn it. It's, I know it's scary if you've never done it, but don't be, don't be sat there all nervous thinking, well, like I used to be, oh my God, I'm going to brick this radio. You won't brick it. And just quickly, quick look at the, you know, those selections again from the bottom this time. You've got, you can add LCD contrast. You do have to tick the box. You've changed the parameters here. Air copy, we talked about that. FM, I didn't tick it, so that wouldn't have changed. If you don't tick it, it won't change it. You know, AM receive on all bands. Um, and that will be, you know, for CB, I would say. Frequency steps, you know, per, well, it just says, yeah. Changes the frequency steps. Okay, frequency step one hertz, two hertz. Mm, okay, uh, custom ranges mode extended extend band one down to eight eighty megahertz and and band seven up to thirteen hundred. So that would really open up your receive your wide band receive port Roger beep menu string. Mm, increase the mic gain. Don't think it needs it myself. There's that times eight backlight with a with a like a black tick in the box a negative display is the reason we've got the black display you can change and play around with your fonts look futuristic fonts um nice custom boot screen you saw the troll face and there's a whole list there the reason the spectrum was working and i chose there's another one you could use that's more advanced here advanced spectrum starts with flashlight button which i just did and then it says Turn on monitoring mode up and down. Oh, so it gives you more adjustment of it. Probably, I probably prefer to have that one actually. So all I would do is click that the advance and let's get it right. And then you go patch it's all what you hit the blue, it sort of adds those little bits. And uh, now that's it's saying the firmware's too large. Fair enough. I, I'm not going to do it then. Um, but, but it's telling you if it's too large, it won't go in. And then you can just start again just by re refreshing. So give it a go, having fun. And, um, you know, the, what I love about these Quashangs is you can get them so cheap, can't you? You get them for like literally, 
it's way better than spending money on unhealthy food. Take it from me, you know. Um, and then you tinker with these. When you're in the mood, you can just tinker. And if you get it wrong, it doesn't matter because you're tinkering. It's like uh, anything, you know, when you're sort of, some, learning isn't horrible if you're not, you've got to have the right sort of mindset when you go into it. Don't go into it thinking, oh, I might muck this up. I'm going to break my radio. I don't know what I'm doing. I, this isn't, you know, I'm too old. I'm too this for this. I'm too that for this. It's complete nonsense. Yeah. Go anything. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to tinker around. Um, I'm going to, as I learn, I'm going to feel good. As I'm learning, I'll feel a bit frustrated, but that's fine. That's part of what you should feel like if you're learning. No different than cooking a meal for the first time. If you're doing a recipe and you're reading down the recipe and you're trying to get it right and you might get the first meal wrong, but you learn and the next time you do it, oh, that food, that meal is a bit better. So um, it, get your mindset into enjoying learning uh, and then you'll, you'll be more like where I am now because I was you once upon a time. The other thing is um, stay healthy, eat healthy, give up smoking. If you're going to do alcohol, keep it minimum. Don't munch on sweets and cakes all day. Um, every time you feel hungry, instead of grabbing a bar of chocolate or a cake or whatever, a snacky thing, grab a glass of water. And let's live longer and stay playing radio for another 40 years. Come on. Join me, 7-3.